Chapter 3 of NFPA 11A covers local application systems typically used in aircraft hangars, for LNG spills, and for other hazards that have potential for three-dimensional fires. When protecting Group 1 and Group 2 aircraft hangars, NFPA Standard 409 must also be referenced for hazard-specific requirements and options. Military installations have their own protection requirements. Statewide Fire Protection recently installed an Ansel High Expansion Foam System in the Imperial Air Hangar in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Imperial Air Hangar is a Group 1 facility measuring 42,000 square feet. According to NFPA 409, the supplementary high expansion foam system has to fill the aircraft's storage and maintenance floor area to a level of three feet within one minute. The system also required a sufficient supply of foam solution to continuously operate the system for 12 minutes. A directly connected reserve supply of foam equal to the main supply is also required in NFPA 409. Based on the size of the hangar, the submergence volume was determined to be 126,000 cubic feet. In addition to the discharge duration and presence of sprinklers, normal foam shrinkage and 20% for the use of inside air must be factored into the total system output requirements. With 75 PSI available at each generator inlet, the system required 11 JetX foam generators. The total foam concentrate required to supply 11 generators for 12 minutes was 605 gallons per system. With the requirement for a reserve system, two 700-gallon bladder tanks with 8-inch proportioners were supplied. The total water requirement for the generators, overhead water sprinklers, and the handline nozzles totaled 2,565 gallons per minute. In comparison, a low expansion foam system would have required approximately 6,840 gallons per minute. With both tanks filled and all preliminary testing completed, it was time to run the test. Within seconds of operation, the first generator kicks into action. And soon, all 11 generators are discharging foam with a total output of approximately 192,000 cubic feet per minute. Within one minute, the system has filled the service area to the three-foot level as required by NFPA 409. Successful tests like these, coupled with lower installation costs, no containment requirements, and the use of inside air can explain why the United States Air Force recommends high expansion foam systems for military hangar protection. NFPA 11A Chapter 4 provides guidelines when medium and high expansion foams are applied manually using a portable foam generator or special air aspirating nozzles commonly connected to the foam solution supply. The unique capabilities of high expansion foam systems provide the versatility to protect various fire hazards, especially when the hazard is three-dimensional. The next time you find yourself specifying a low expansion foam system, consider adding a dimension of protection. High expansion foam technology from Ansel.